What's going on guys? Today we're talking about eight digital products that you can sell that would make you at least $10,000 a month. Are you ready to make some money? Let's dive in. The best thing about selling digital products is that you're making the product once and then you can continue to make money on it over time. So it's truly passive income. You're gonna be making money while you sleep. So the first digital product that you could sell would be selling a digital course. Now these are gonna take a while to create. However, once you've created it, then it's done and you can sit back and let the money roll in. So there's multiple different platforms where you could sell your course. So you could sell on Teachable, Skillshare, or you could have your own website, and then you could advertise through social media. And the best thing about social media is it's free, so you don't have to pay for that advertisement. On average, digital courses usually sell for between $100 and $500 per course. So when you truly think about that, you could make a lot of money with digital courses. You could make not only $10,000 per month, but even more. So let's say you're looking to make that $10,000 per month. So if you sell your course right there in the middle at $300, you would only need to sell 33 courses per month to be bringing in $10,000. And when you really break that down, you're basically just selling one course per day. There's so many different areas that you could create a course in. You could create it in real estate, investing, cooking, video editing, and the list goes on and on. Literally, people are always searching for how to do something. And sometimes people don't want to go through a million different YouTube videos in order to learn something. And you could just create one course that would show people how to do that one thing that you're teaching and you can get paid for it. So if you're really good at teaching people, this could be the option for you. Now, some of you may not wanna put yourself on video to sell a course, and let me tell you, you don't need to do that. I think video does sell extremely better, but I have seen courses where they sell really well and it's just information typed out. So it's up to you what type of course that you'd wanna create, but I would recommend having video in your course. The next idea for a digital product that you could sell is website and blog templates. Now these are very popular. A lot of people don't wanna to have to create their own website or their own blog from scratch. So they'll go ahead and purchase a template. So these are really popular on Etsy or you could also have your own website and just sell from there. But either way, you could make a lot of money with these templates. On average, a really good template is usually sold for around $130. And then if you're selling your templates on your own website, you could also offer a service to install the templates for the customer. And then that's more money that you could make on top of that. So this is something that you could make so much money for. Just because just about everyone has their own website, everyone's got a blog these days, but not everyone has the skills to create those websites or blogs. So if you do have those skills, that would be an amazing opportunity for you to bring in at least $10,000 a month or more. And then just keep in mind, if you're gonna sell your templates on Etsy, you you could also pay for ads to get a better placement on Etsy so more people see those templates and then purchase them. So the choice is up to you whether you want to sell those on Etsy or on your own website. So the next idea for a digital product would be selling digital planners. Now digital planners these days are selling like hotcakes. So you can get in on that action and create your own digital planner and sell it. And so a great platform to sell those on would be Etsy. So you can create your digital planner on Canva and then you would save it as a PDF or an SVG file and then upload it to Etsy and then the customer could easily download that onto their computer or on their tablet. And so these sell from anywhere from $5 to $40 per planner. And so since it's such a hot commodity, it's very easy to rake in the dough on digital planners. So the next idea for a digital product to sell would be creating an ebook. Now, creating ebooks has gotten so much more simpler over the years. Now you can actually go through Amazon, 
So if you go to Kindle Create with Amazon, that's where they will help you create your ebook. So you can just quickly sell it online. So an easier idea for an ebook would be creating a children's book because as we know, children's books are a lot shorter. So that may be the route you wanna go, but either way, whatever type of book that you wanna create, you can make serious cash. So the next digital product that you can sell would be a membership. With memberships, I've seen these done so many different ways. So for example, if you're a content creator, you could create a membership for exclusive content. I know a lot of people have a Patreon and they'll offer exclusive content over there. There's so many different areas that you can create a membership in. For example, like with the health niche, you could have a membership that gives workout plans and diet tips and healthy eating tips. Or you could create a cooking membership and share your skills on that. Or investing or real estate. And oftentimes too, I've noticed that people will do meetups with these memberships. So in-person meetups if it's a small enough group. But really when you think about it, creating a membership, you can create a membership on anything that you can create a course on or anything that you're sharing information on. But you wanna make sure that it's worth your customer's time. So there's so many different opportunities with creating memberships. And with memberships, usually people are paying every month or yearly. So that money continues to flow in. So the next idea for a digital product that you could sell would be legal pages. So legal pages for websites or for blogs, or you could even create templates that businesses could use for certain things. Because if we're going to keep it 100, getting a lawyer to do anything is so expensive. So offering those services of just those pages to add to a website or to a blog or just those templates that they could fill in, that's going to bring in a lot of cash. You could sell those legal pages or legal templates on Etsy or on your own website. If you're going to sell it on your own website, you could just do advertising through social media and get more customers that way. But like I said, legal documents, legal templates can be sold for a higher price. So the next digital product that you could sell would be an app. So of course you'd need to create the app first. You can either create that on your own if you've got coding skills, or you can use an app developer and use that platform to create your app. And then once you're done, sell that finished product to the market. Now, creating an app is clearly gonna take time to create. But when you think about it, new apps are popping up all over the place. So if you create the right app, you could be making that $10,000 per month or even more. Just think about it, how many apps do you have on your cell phone? And there's always a need for a new app. So go ahead and create that app and start raking in the dough. So the next digital product that you could make and sell would be creating a digital plugin for websites and blogs. So an example of this would be creating a plugin to shrink picture sizes. Because if you know anything about having a website or a blog, larger photos are gonna make your website or blog run a lot slower. There's so many different things that you can create a plugin for to be used on a blog or on a website. So if those are skills that you have, definitely take advantage of that and start selling those plugins. So those are the eight digital products that you can sell online to make at least $10,000 per month. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you would hit the like button. It really helps my channel. So until next time, I'll see you later.